Welcome to the NTN Nightly. I'm Nisha Charles. This edition's top stories. The Department of Health and Wellness remains on high alert against the flu. St. Lucia guarantees public participation and justice in environmental matters. Ensuring the security of all within the shores of St. Lucia has received a shot in the arm. All that plus the latest in youth development, sports and the NTN Nouvelle Arquail. The Department of Health and Wellness is on high alert as St. Lucians continue to present at medical facilities with respiratory infection symptoms. Recently, officials expressed concern over deaths in males suspected of being flu-related. More from Anisia Antoine. The flu season in St. Lucia typically runs from October to March, which usually picks in the month of December. From December 2018, the ministry noted that there were increased cases of the influenza virus, which have continued to climb. Even more alarming for the ministry is the unusual deaths of two male individuals. The ministry is closely monitoring the situation. Between week 7 and 8 of 2019, we noted that the cases have gone even above our usual mm -hmm. threshold, both in, in under 5 years and over um, 5 years old. And the flu seemed to be more intense when we review the cases that we note at our healthcare facilities. Our cases seem to be a little more intense, a little bit unusual as to what we, we usually um, see on a regular basis. So we have been putting out the alert to let persons know what we see and to try to curb. And we have also been investigating two um, cases which are influenza related in males, two unusual deaths that um, are related to, to the flu, which is quite unusual for us um, in St. Lucia and more so at this time of the year. The Ministry of Health and Wellness monitors the flu season through its epidemiology unit, which has noted a stark increase in the number of cases recorded in the month of March 2019. We have an epidemiology unit which is important for surveillance of health conditions and we monitor through our healthcare facilities the different pathologies that come in and we, put, we monitor closely so that if we note any unusual patterns or any increases, it allows us to try to manage to curb those, those increases. So our, that department um, puts out weekly surveillance reports and we do meet regularly to discuss and to see what trends we are noting because sometimes we may see an increase in one part of the island and not another part so as to reduce the impact of that um, disease on the island. So we have been monitoring the flu from last year. We have been monitoring it closely. The medical officer of health says the flu vaccine is 80 to 90 percent effective at preventing persons from getting the flu and is available at the healthcare facilities free of charge. A new vaccine is done every year and it is prepared based on the circulating strains of the flu in that year. So usually because the flu virus, the influenza virus tends to mutate quite quickly and every mm -hmm. year, every year we tend to have a different strain of the flu circulating. The influenza virus is between 80 and 90 percent effective in terms of preventing persons from, from getting the flu. So it would be the first line of defense in terms of preventing it. Persons most at risk of getting the flu are those with chronic diseases, the elderly and young children. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. In seeking to guarantee the right of present and future generations to a healthy environment and to sustainable development, the ICASO Agreement, the Regional Agreement on Access to Information, Public Participation and Justice in Environmental Matters is the first regional environmental treaty in Latin America and the Caribbean. It is the only treaty to have emerged out of the Principle 10 Declaration of the Rio Plus 20 meeting in 2012. Communications and Advocacy Officer of the St. Lucia National Trust, Coretta Crooks Charles, says St. Lucia signing on to the agreement was a major achievement for the country. In the Caribbean, thankfully, we don't have that many issues per se with environmental defenders or human rights defenders being attacked. But in Latin America, it's a serious issue where hundreds, even thousands of them are killed annually because of their decision to stand for the environment or stand for land rights and indigenous people. So this is really remarkable for our colleagues in Latin America. But for the Caribbean, 
we have issues as it pertains to getting information um, in a timely manner. Many times or too often we see things happening and then the public, they are consulted thereafter when it's too late. And this really is raising the standards to ensure that you get a high level of input and participation. So far, St. Lucia, Antigua and Barbuda, Haiti, the Dominican Republic and Guyana have signed on to the agreement. Approximately 11 countries are needed so that the agreement can enter into force. Each country has to implement the agreement on its own level, but the good thing about it, it's a regional mm. agreement, so they would have to have meetings, like you have, for example, the climate change um, agreement, where you meet every year to see how you're progressing, if you're meeting the targets, etc. So these are some of the things that will have to be in place or to see how countries are complying, and if not, what can be done, because the technical secretariat for this is the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America, Latin America and the Caribbean, UN ECLAC, mm -hmm. and um, they'll be providing capacity building opportunities and support to guide countries through the implementation because you would appreciate that some countries are further ahead mm -hmm. than others. In Jamaica, for example, they have an access to information unit. Mind you, Jamaica has not yet signed on. Mm -hmm. um, they have not yet signed on, but it doesn't mean that they won't. The agreement is open for ratification until September 2020. Efforts at ensuring the security of all within the shores of St. Lucia have received a shot in the arm, with Parliament passing the Castries Constituency Council Bill. The Minister for Home Affairs, Justice and National Security, Senator Honorable Herman Francis, says the bill allows for the creation of a Castries City Police. And one of, the, one of the reasons for giving the, the city police the powers of arrest and the immunities um, enjoyed by ordinary police officers is to allow them the latitude or the ability to involve themselves when they see crimes or offenses being committed outside the constituency's boundaries. So, for example, a city police officer in the Grosley area on a Friday night seen an infraction being committed, does not have to wait for a police officer to take action. The mere fact that he has the powers of arrest, he can initiate an arrest there and hand over that person to the police officer. Um, so that enables or assists the police officers in policing the country a little, a little better. Minister Francis also stated that the city police focuses on the city of Castries and their duties in no way affect the powers and privileges of regular police officers. In fact, the minister indicated that city police provide great assistance to regular police officers as it is impossible for them to be present everywhere. It has been proven over the last couple of years that the, the city police have been in existence that there has been a reduction in our, um, um, visitors harassment and crime against um, our visitors. So the, the police officers in the city are doing a good job. They are trained by our regular police officers. They receive almost all this, the very same training that police officers have received. At a, but the time is a little different because we deal with a lot more when it comes to a police officer. Senator Francis expressed his full support for the bill at the last sitting of the Senate on the 28th of March, 2019. Activities celebrating April as Youth Month are rolling out through collaborative efforts by government and the National Youth Council. The details in this report. The month of April is being celebrated nationwide as Youth Month. The Department of Youth and Sports, in collaboration with the National Youth Council, have organized a number of events to commemorate the occasion. The celebration included a speech festival from April 1st to 4th, where students were trained in areas such as parliamentary debating and public speaking. The official opening of Youth Month will be held on Friday, April 5th, with a youth expose hosted by the Department of Youth and Sports, in collaboration with Volunteer St. Lucia. Mary Wilfred is the Director of Youth in the Department of Youth and Sports. The expose begins with a march from Serenity Park onto Constitution Park where we we'll have various uniform groups, the cadets, uh, Red Cross, um, scouts, guides, um, pathfinders and master guides, other um, 
groups and organizations where they would now be met at the Constitution Park. Wilfred explained that the Youth Exposé will allow young entrepreneurs to showcase their different talents and skills. They will be given the opportunity to um, demonstrate what they can do in small business and we have a number of young people across the island would be coming in to showcase some of their businesses and we really want the public to come in and see what young people can produce and what they do in order to earn a living and how they are contributing to economic development in their small space as well. Other activities will include a youth camp, a youth service week and youth awards. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. And this is the NDN Nightly. Ryan O'Brien is standing by with more youth development and sports. Clément la terre a changé. Et ça a affecté nous toutes. Cyclone qui a venu plus mauvais. Gros de l'eau et que la prendre l'eau qui a détruit les animaux et plein. Quand la mer a venu plus chaud et qui a tué place qui se présente dans la gravité. La mer choua qui a aussi changé de manière se présente qui a quitté de l'autre côté et qui a allé à l'autre côté. Cette liste a contribué à un petit usine de gaz en l'espace. Quand un petit pays nous a essayé de faire tout ça nous a fait pour assurer qu'il nous baisse à ce quantité de gaz nous a servi pour empêcher la terre de venir plus chaud. Et faut pour baisser à ce quantité de gaz nous a servi, c'est mitigation. Le climat a changé. Il a changé depuis que nous tout au niveau de la terre, car le gaz, l'huile et le chèbon. Et ça, quand on écrase la terre, il a changé plus chaud. Ça, nous ne pouvons faire tout le monde, c'est pour adapter. Fait tout ça nous a fait pour préparer et répondre pour ces conséquences négatives à la cause des changements climat. Nous tous, ça fait quelque chose. Par exemple, nous n'y pouvons assurer qui nous protéger tout ça nous a planté. C'est vie fumier qui est naturel. Pratique quand nous pour abattre des manches en temps cyclone et godlo. Construit canal pour de l'eau couille bien quand il faut. Et assurer qui canal là par les ordi. Fait tout ça qui est possible pour vivre en temps changement climat ça. Trouvez plus d'informations à ce plan d'adaptation national gouvernement et des marches ou même ça prend pour protéger corps et tout notre cette lycée. Welcome back. We join Ryan O'Brien for the latest happenings in youth development and sports. Welcome once again to your update from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports on the NTN Nightly News. I'm Ryan O'Brien. We ball off with cricket and the time has come for the staging of the Mass United Insurance Schools Cricket Final at the Grosile Plain Field Friday. St. Mary's College and Miku Secondary are the two schools that have made it to the finals of the competition in 2019. Dave Albert is the coach of the Miku team. First of all, Miku Secondary, we're quite we, we elated that we are in a, a final of this competition after many, many years that you've not heard Miku Secondary at a, 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 a secondary school cricket final. We're more known for football. Um, the school is very excited about this final and we, we the players are very excited too. Um, I'd like to congratulate the players. I mean, at the start of the competition, we never thought that we would have gotten this deep into the competition. I'm being realistic there. But we continued working hard. And um, I know SMC has a very good team, very well-rounded team. And we, we have made it our duty to take on the challenge with, with SMC. Aki Mogis, the inspirational captain of St. Mary's College, will be missing for the encounter after being named on the senior national cricket team playing in the Winnet Islands tournament. Ogis spoke about the importance of the Mass United Insurance competition in the development of young St. Lucian cricketers. It was a wonderful initiative by Mass United Insurance because they've been hosting the tournament for a very long time and I think it has played well done and a very good job in um, developing the youngsters in the cricketing field and I think I hope they continue it and develop our young cricketers. Friday's final starts at 9.30 a.m. Let's take a look at the teams. St. Mary's College from Amari Vena, Ryan Goodman, Zidane Arthur, Jihan Buda, Anselm Gittins, Shaquan Prudent, Jindel Cyril, Jovel Dupre, Semjo Ogis, Marin Rene, Dominic McLennan, Tariq Wells, Jason Collimore. 
Miku Secondary. From Keon Gaston, Dishej Henry, Marklin Estefan, Nindy Turville, Sean Velinor, Cody Lesmore, Brent Edward, Shanig Stanley, Christiani Louis, Joshua Thomas, Jerlan Justin, and Lupi Joseph. Champion high jumper Laverne Spencer has been urged to continue excelling in athletics and maintain her high standards. The words of encouragement have come from a parliamentary representative, the Honorable Ezekiel Joseph. So I want to encourage Lovin. I'm sure that, like we have heard, there are many more days and years ahead, and we're expecting to, to see that she continue to perform and to bring home the goals that she has been doing. So Lovin, on behalf of the government of St. Lucia, I wish you all the best, and I'm sure you will appreciate that we are working to encourage you and to encourage, to encourage sports persons in St. Lucia. The parliamentary representative made the comments during a gala dinner recently in recognition of 20 years outstanding service for St. Lucia by Spencer in the sport of track and field. Youth Month gets an official launch on Friday with Youth Exposé at Constitution Park starting at 10 a.m. The event, which replaced Youth Overhaul and Youth Festival, is an exposition of youth talent in St. Lucia. Youth Exposé, like other activities for the month, is being staged by the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports in collaboration with the National Youth Council, the NYC. The first actual activity for the celebration of the month was a four-day speech festival which ended at the Financial Center on Thursday. Staying with youth, the Youth Empowerment Project is focused on mitigating risk factors that trigger criminal and antisocial behavior at the individual, family, community and societal levels. The objectives of the project will be achieved through a number of components. Joanne Husbands is a project coordinator. The first one is that of the Integrated Court Diversion Program, which consists of two subcomponents, the Youth Recidivism Reduction Program and the Outer School Outer School Sus Suspension Program, pardon me. And the Youth Recidivism Reduction Program is, will be implemented through the Department of Probation. And it's one where the youth may be recommended by the courts, which do not receive um, non-custodial sentencing, or they are not sentenced. And so they provide them to that alternate program where they can be rehabilitated um, and to prevent them from reoffending. So services will be provided to the youth in that program and also the parents um, to ultimately develop a program to mitigate a, uh, that, that, that negative behavior which got them in, in the uh, trouble with the law in the first place. The Youth Empowerment Project will also feature a logo competition to run throughout the month of April. And that's where we wrap up our segment today. I'm Ryan O'Brien. Thanks, Ryan. And stay with the NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with the NTN Nouvelle en Quayle. Pour contrôler maladie cigarette au il nécessaire et bien important pour tenir tout équipement, particulièrement machine spray en bonne condition. Toujours nettoyer machine après ou servir et mettre en condition bon service, même quand l'usine est recommandée pour tenir. Depuis ou qu'un service chimique pour contrôler maladie fixe cigarette au canoë, il est absolument important pour protéger corps et point en chaque précaution. Operator ces machines spray ni pour servir habillement qui est bien protégé yo. Servi overall, goggles, boots et gloves pour empêcher que mic touche la peau et bien expirer. Pour plus d'informations à ce manière pour traiter et contrôler maladie cigotocanoe à sous plantation et bien jardin ou pour sa téléphoner département pour ménager cigotocanoe à numéro 451 yon et bien 451-5894 et bien email yo à bpmu at candw.lc Commission Sala a sorti Hod Ministère de l'Agriculture ensemble et Fonds Coopération Internationale et Développement Hod Pays République la Chine Taiwan Welcome back 
We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle en Creole. Monsieur Tanisha, Monsieur et Madame Département qui est responsable pour les formations en gouvernement cette ci ça c'est GIS, à ce moment Télévision Nationale pays à NTN, qu'a posé ton nouvel accueil, posé ton Primus Hutchinson. Ministre là qui est responsable pour agriculture et la pêche, on est avec Ezekiel Joseph, pas satisfait et puis manière compagnie Win Fresh qui a approché situation industrie figue là cette ci si le honorable Joseph, ça fait réduction en ce qui est fait que les cultivateurs et les femmes fait qu'à vendre par semaine, c'est une qui a concerné le gouvernement en pile. Le ministre agricole a conseillé Will Fresh pour venir plus mer que ça. Il y a chaque plus fait qu'à produire cette ici et puis nous savons que l'heure qui est venue pour mai, juin, juin, il y a chaque fait qu'à sortir cette ici. Il y a un porteur pour une fraîche copain et puis un FTO copain, nous venons d'un argument pour que ce soit ça encourager les femmes pour planter, même si nous ne pouvons pas aussi pour, mais nous avons un chai et fort, et nous pas encourager les femmes à entrer en production, et puis là, ils viennent de faire des femmes. Ça, c'est ça, c'est ça, c'est ça, le gouvernement a dit, il n'y a pas d'accord, et puis nous avons une fraîche et puis un FTO qui a fait, ça y est, pour assurer que là, nous commençons la production via le niveau. Vie haut, vie haut, dat at least nous kaiwe dat famous kai savant figure. On a Joseph expliqué ki, il pa accept pa pièce tout bonnement pour yon cultivateur fig, ka recolte yon sans régime fig, et ka ni savant seulement 30. Alors, yon gamme ni pou fait plus vite ki possible. Ministre la d'accord ki, bagwe la ni wajman pou fix set li si van an se lot pey kaiwe bla, pou exemple Trinidad dek la Grenade, sa ki plus important, se la place Europe. Pour raison ça là, il remarque qu'il y a des gros confiances qui éprouvées parce qu'il y a une fraîche, j'ai vu établir un argument et puis le pays de France. So, nous ne pouvons pas faire ça. Oui, oui, oui. Parce que là, il y a des chaises qui sont sorties et puis nous ne pouvons pas faire ça. L'autre chose là, c'est la qualité de la vie. Oui. La qualité de la vie, ça c'est nous ne pouvons pas parler en chaises. Les femmes ne pouvons pas faire ça. Même si nous avons un assaut, la place là, c'est ici, et bien là, et bien à Trinidad, Babad, Qualité fait là ni pour bon. Well, I mean, quoi quoi extension officer moi si ou quoi quoi d'accord d'être depuis nous qu'on parle bien fameux niveau de ça il a fait niveau de bonne qualité. Évidemment, les forêts cette ci j'ai éduquer peuple là pour pile temps à présent concerné importance pour protéger les forêts pays là. C'est chef pour département les forêts Monsieur Alfred Prosper qui fait déclaration ça là récemment en observance journée internationale pour de l'eau. Prosper qui t'a causé et puis nous pour l'occasion ça là. Vous remarquez qu'il n'y a longtemps que le pays a trouvé un conseil concernant les valeurs, les forêts, pour un pays. Si l'on chef officiel des forêts, il a déjà visité plusieurs écoles, chaînes de discussion, en différentes communes et à son média pays aussi. Et si vous changez, les nous perdons combien de la forêt en Hurricane Alin, en Indinéti, la population par autre nous descend pour l'est d'un yon sang. Si plus la forêt a été trouvé dévalisé par le week-end, nous allons aller à l'école, nous allons faire un chai de travail de cancer pour faire un coup de la forêt. La forêt pour la parot, ça c'est Jacoa. Et actuellement, nous avons presque 3000 Jacoa à Baboua, en forêt. Donc, nous aussi, nous avons la loi qui a la forêt en cette ici. Donc, nous avons la loi qui a créé la Soil and Water Conservation Act. Et c'est ça qui a gouverné la manière de faire en réserve, c'est ça qui a la forêt du gouvernement. Mais nous n'avons pas de loi qui a conduit ça qui a fait dans les terres privées. Donc même si nous avons une loi pour la forêt, si nous avons une loi pour la forêt, nous n'avons pas d'empêcher de couper le bois dans les terres. C'est le prospect. Même si ces métiers savent que nous avons une loi pour la forêt, nous n'avons pas de cause de ça. Le département n'a pas de pièces pour voir par quoi pour nous bout et bien pêcher mettre ça à la fin, ça il veut faire. Oui, mais quand vie ou est mon moutier d'adieu qu'on prend vers les fouilles, nous devons quand vie ou est mon qu'a fait un changement, ça nous va créer behavioral change. Ça c'est une chose là, nous paie, nous pas qu'à ouais en toute éducation nous qu'à faire, nous pas qu'à ouais ça nous crée. Behavioral change, un changement pour nous dire, eh eh, 
nous exorbit la vie pas sale qu'on était gagné avant commission là mon gagne une commission qui va changer manière yo nous ni pour continuer indiquer tout le monde éducation ça pas ça de bout mais nous voulons ouais that young generation ces jeunes monde n'a monter c'est même mais là pas qu'a fait même c'est balance c'est monde avant yo a fait so nous détruit fou ya nous là nous 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 fait un chai dommage en c'est la vie nous pas voulons ouais l'autre génération fait ça so nous pour continuer indiquer mon à sa département indiquer as much as possible pour nous ouais un changement coordinateur pour projet qui reste que ça pour renforcer et porter industry tourisme en parmi jeunesse l'école et commune pays monsieur Wendell George déclaré que manier les étudiants à l'école c'est que des grandes vieux ou se voyer c'est un qui touche autant monsieur George c'était un en parmi grec qui t'ai trouvé invitation pour te adresser l'école là de observation semaine pour prix Nobel à PIA. George annonce qui ça va lion l'intérêt pour bâtir une relation nouveau et puis l'école ça là. Pour comme là qui a porté une big brother, ça veut dire grand frère qui a adressé si j'ai qu'on mandé pour bâtir confiance, mandé pour abattre chicane, pour travailler ensemble et tellement pour parler publiquement en parmi l'autre. George ka kwè ki sa se yon l'okasyon pou ede se jen gason sa la bati kapasite yo pou fè yon mer kontribisyon pou sosyete se tre se. Mise George di ki majorite pogram lan ki a plas se pou jen fi ek fom pe ya, me pani ase pou jen gason ek nom. An pil an yo pani yon kote pou ale pou touve bon konsey, le yo ka espyan se problem, ebe yon ni anti chagwe. Alor, Et tout ce qu'on attend pour bâtir et développer le programme comme ça à cette ici. En même temps, George a renforcé va aller en papa en la vie particulièrement ces garçons qui a dans le Parce que ça a un dé pour faire une grande différence en direction que ces jeunes garçons allaient aller. Et complémenter ces mamans en qui n'y a pas de responsabilité qu'on n'y a pas de maman et papa dans le cahier. Ces jeunes garçons allaient qui participer dans plusieurs initiatives à commune. Mais George a fait un appel pour papa. Jouer yon pli meye wol an la vi gason yo. Yon aussi fè yon apel pou nom peyi ya pou engaje et devlope pogram an menm fason sa la. O li won, set le si. Ek se konsa nou an tou about nouvel la. Mou ka yon mesyo wot tan pou gade, mou ka ba yon invitasyon. Pou jwenne pi mou anko, si de konseve la vi, kote mou ka yon prezante wot lot nouvel la kwe yon. A prezant, nou ka vye pou nisha. Mesi yon pil, primus. And here's a look at what's happening to us weather-wise. Skies are fair to partly cloudy with a few showers. The Atlantic High Pressure System will maintain a moderate to brisk easterly wind flow across the eastern Caribbean islands over the next few days. Low-level clouds drifting along this wind flow will bring a few widely scattered showers over the region during the next 24 hours. The tide for Castries Harbour was high at 3.38 p.m. and will be low again at 9.22 p.m. The tide for VA4 Bay was high at 4.45 p.m. and will be low again at 10.49 p.m. The sea is moderate to locally rough with waves 5 to 7 feet or 1.5 to 2.1 meters. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to above normal seas. The sun will rise Friday at 5.57 a.m. And that brings us to the end of the NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Nisha Charles.